Hey guys, welcome to this week's recap of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, episode 8, Pizza Gates. Okay, so it's the next day at the shore vacation. Everyone is getting their day started after last night heavy drinking and partying at the shore, okay? So we get to see everyone get ready, and then we get to see the FaceTime with Dolores talking to Mr. Paul, Mr. Paulie. And pretty much Dolores fills him in on the party to let him know what he missed out. And I'm like, girl, Dolores, are you trying to keep him away from this group? Because I don't know what same person, after hearing how you describe the the party last evening if they would still be interested to be a part of this group okay the man has a a sensitive heart okay he just came out of heart surgery i don't think that's exciting for anyone to put themselves through so mm. so we get a jump scene to melissa's shore house And in that house, we have Jackie, Margaret staying over there with their men. And they are talking about the Aidens, okay? So pretty much the girls, the girlies, they were making fun of Jen and Bill's drinking. But to be fair, like everyone was drinking, so I don't know what was the big commotion. They're just being, you know, haters pretty much. So Jackie, in her moment says the two of them jen and bill can't stand each other without being drunk and i'm like okay jackie you gotta take your shots you know so you can get your scenes in so you can get your check we know you don't need it but you want your moment so she's having her moment (sighs) and you know she goes in to bring up their issues to the group and you know you know, I feel like Jen, she tries to be open and give Jackie a chance, you know, to open up her heart to Jackie. And I feel like Jackie, mm, I think the whole purpose of that is so that you have an issue with Jen. Like, you always want to keep an issue so you can stay talking about the issue. So we got a jump scene over to Jen's townhouse on the shore boardwalk, y'all, okay? So over there, we have Teresa... And her man, Louis, with Danielle and her man. So they're eating breakfast. And Bill and Jen, you know, they got everything ready for breakfast. They are high alert, ready to go. And they are proper hosts to their guests. So they obviously could handle their liquor, guys. So pretty much today, we're going to have a lunch at the Fudas to look forward to. So at Rachel Fudas' home, we have Jen Fessler and Dolores. So now we go back to Jen's townhouse and the group is discussing what happened last night with Danielle. And, you know, remember, it all started with Jackie not believing the issues Danielle had with her brother. So... And also, don't forget, Melissa run and told that to Danielle this. And that was what was the topic of breakfast discussion. But back at Melissa's house, Melissa was imitating Danielle in her thick Jersey Italian accent. And I'm like, okay, Melissa, this is this is different for you. We haven't had her imitate anybody else aside from Teresa, her biggest nemesis in this show. But overall, these girls, they just not buying the issue between Danielle and her brother. Like, the brother who is not on the show, yet they're talking about them as if they were on the show. And I'm thinking, this is so boring. I understand, like, Danielle, she brought this up just to relate with Teresa and her situation. But I'm pretty sure Danielle didn't want this to be the focus. Like, her brother is not even on the show. Why are we talking about him? I feel like it would be funny if next season comes up and Danielle's brother comes on the show to speak his piece. And then we have a Teresa and Joe situation part two, okay? Anywho, all the girls, they don't believe Danielle. 
And I can see how this can make the girls not trust Danielle. Like, what are you hiding? There must be more to it. Are you just trying to protect your own image? I can see that for them. But I think they are making the situation more deep than what it is just for the whole plot of it all. Okay. So we do see the girls pinning this on our new girl, Rachel. Calling her, you know, the, the, the pretty much the starter, the, the commotion. The one who starts the commotion and reporting to Margaret what Danielle said about Margaret having an arsenal and, you know, having tea on these girlies. And that's why she hangs out with them. So, mm. for me, you can see the guy, you can see... You can see how Jen and Teresa are. You can see the look on Jen and Teresa's eyes in that moment. Getting excited to have Danielle kind of turn on Margaret and Rachel to use Danielle as the arsenal. These girls, they, I don't know. You can't trust nobody on this show. So Danielle, she doesn't like how Rachel is making it seem that she's the only one that has all these questions questions and is questioning the people in the group when they are both new and rightfully so i feel like of course they're gonna have you know some questions and some hesitation about these girls they don't know who to trust because all they see is that pretty much they want to have these girls want people on their side and these new girls they see it they're not new to the situation the, the housewives in new jersey has been around for quite some time they both have seen the show so they know what goes down on the show so i think this is the first time we're actually seeing the new girls they click up together to work things out and danielle was on that page but i feel like rachel's more of a lone wolf where she's a free agent she does what she wants and it seems like when it benefits her the most because she was sipping that tea that danielle had to say i didn't know why she had to run it back to margaret like that but i feel like danielle in that moment see who rachel is and you know when they see when they see each other they see each other from candy burris mouth okay so now another drama is brewing up guys and this is with margaret asking teresa come on why didn't you invite melissa's family and margaret tells melissa teresa's reasoning being that melissa's family have bad history with teresa and of course this makes melissa upset She's shocked what's coming out of Teresa's mouth and what is being brought to the show. It's like nothing to help mend the the relationship with her brother with her brother. So it's like, ugh, another moment. And like Dolores says, like Dolores says, like kids are off limits and moms are certainly off limits. But at this point, we are just making this up as we go along. Because I feel like who's off the limits just keep on adding to the list. Y'all just don't care about that those boundaries. So just keep it real and don't play with our faces like that. Don't play in our faces like that. So Margaret did. You know, she, she, she tried to keep her hands clean. And I'm like, I see you, girly. I see you, girly girl. And Margaret, she tells how Louis did say how he he will invite Melissa's family, how he's going to make it right. And, you know, Melissa, she, I, I, and I think this is fair, Melissa questions the genuineness of his actions. And so does Joe. And I, 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 I see that because Louis... He's a little bit strange. First he's good. First he's like namaste. But then he gets upset and he gets super red. And I'm like, sir, why are you getting super red like this? Like, explain yourself. So Joe has an issue with Louie, as we learn. So first, let's get Teresa's side. So Teresa's side is that, you know, there was a business deal. There was a business dealing with Louis. And Louis lost a quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a million dollars. Okay. So pretty much Joe came up with this idea of a pizza oven that he wanted to do with his sister, Teresa. But then he spoke to their attorney. And when it came down to percentages, Joey was to get 5%. And when he heard that, he flipped out. I would flip out too. If I brought you the idea and I'm only getting 5%, like... Where do that at? Where's the math? Do the math. Because the math is not mathing. Because he wanted 50%. But 
But, you know, the issue was that he wasn't putting up the money, that Louis put up the money for this whole situation. So, of course, they felt like they should get a bigger share of the percentages. So, since the deal didn't go through, Louis had to take a loss. And, you know, I'm like, damn, this must be the reason why they don't really like Louis. But first of all, come on, guys. First of all, they're trying to make things work out as brother and sister. And then they are dealing with the loss of their family members, their their, their mother and father. And then on top of that, they're here to open a new relationship forming with her new, with the new brother-in-law, Louis. And then on top of that, they got to do business together. Y'all, come on, Ray Charles saw this failing along all the way in Massachusetts. Not even, we didn't have to go to the Jersey Shore to see that this was the issues that they were having. Like, come on, come on, come on, that this is a possibility. Come on. Ugh, this is so dumb. I can't believe they did that. So now we got the Gorgas that do not like the Ruelas, Okay. So now we get to hear Joe's side. And Joe's side, when he tells us his story, he said it's so calm. He's like, believe me, guys. So he said it's so calm. So the point of this pizza business for Joe is to pay respect to their dad and have this project be done with him and his sister. So Joe's nephew got Louis involved. And all I can think of is which nephew is he talking about? Because I don't think we ever seen this one. Like, who is he talking about? And Louis started to put out the money to pay for the for the ovens. So Joe thought he was going 50-50 with his sister, but was shocked when he found out from his nephew that the sister had a photo shoot with the girls for a skinny pizza brand or line that they were coming up with. He calls Louis, and Louis starts to give him some lip, okay? And that's why they don't like each other, okay? That's why there's an issue with the Gorgas and the Realists, okay? And I'm like, oh my God. So, Melissa, she was hopeful, hopeful for a new beginning. But she's so emotional for Joe to not have a sense of family from Teresa, his only sister. So, back to Rachel, and she's hosting a party. We see, and I'm saying to myself, let's see what it gives, because I don't want to know how Rachel throws a party. Danielle, she threw a good party, so now it's Rachel's turn to throw a party. And I'm with Jen Fessler. Guys, the extras got to go. No extras at the party and or Disney characters at the party, Okay. Because what was that point of having a mermaid there? Like, why? These are grown people. Come on. Come on. So Melissa's group arrived to the Fudas. And in comes Jackie having another moment. So she is sharing with Dolores her thoughts on the Aidens. And she tells the girls, which is Margaret and Dolores and Rachel, how the Aidens are fighting about how to raise their kids. So Dolores, she feels left out. I'm like, Dolores, stop. Dolores, stop. Because Dolores feels like that's her friend. And, you know, she's still rooting for her friend, even though, even though they're not talking. So she feels left out that she doesn't know what's going on with Jen. So Fuda, the husband, he brings up the gossip from what went down um, in on Instagram because you know Fuda you know he's a new he's a new guy to the group and he was just initiated so he shows Joe an Instagram video that Louis made about forgiveness and you know they find it hilarious because they say oh how can he talk about forgiveness when he can he doesn't know how to handle Teresa and she has the issue of forgiveness so the guys thought it was a great idea to make a video for Instagram and I'm like these guys are already drunk they already have been drinking and they cannot make this video so that was the guys moment for the episode okay so Jen Fessler she comes in she steals the pot okay and she checks in on Melissa and Melissa they really know how to get Melissa activated okay and she asked Melissa, and they talk about the whole ordeal of not inviting and then inviting her family. And all the girls find it funny because all their mothers are invited to the party, into the situation of it all, instead 
of Melissa's family. So in comes Teresa crew and it's all good. It's all kisses. And I think to myself, where's Frank? Frank is missing for this party. Where is Frank? Okay. I liked, I like Nisa Frank. Frank, he is funny. Okay. So we then get Margaret and Danielle and they have a moment. Okay. Danielle starts it off as I heard you was upset. And I'm like, look at our girl, our gangster girl from New Jersey, giving New Jersey vibes. Okay. So Margaret gives her the rundown and Danielle, she clarifies saying that this is not a Danielle and Rachel talk trash about the girls moment that Danielle, she, she, Danielle is mad that it was turned into something to seem like it was a catty conversation about Margaret. But, you know, I'm happy Danielle did this. Danielle, she pulls in Rachel into the situation. And Rachel says that Danielle was not attacking Margaret, but was mentioning that Margaret had an arsenal of information. And that is why Margaret is upset that even Danielle believes that in the first place. So Danielle is pointing her finger and she says to Rachel, uh, what we was doing was coffee talk. Don't make her look like she's the bad guy. And don't act like you weren't not engaging in that. And Rachel is like, what did I say? And I'm like, oh. And she's like, nothing. Exactly, nothing. And I'm like, oh. And Danielle, she looked, oh. So Danielle had no choice but to apologize for the Arsenal comment. Because she can't even spell Arsenal. I'm like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> don't do too much <laughs> so rachel asks danielle if they're good and rachel and danielle's like mm, she's she's good she's good that like you could tell when someone she's not good with you but she's good okay so then we have jen fessler again mixing the pot this time with Teresa not inviting melissa to the wedding and Melissa's family to the wedding. I'm like, Jen Fester, why you care so much? Like, what is the reason? I need you to tell me how this food tastes. Like, I saw a, I saw like a, like a, a table full of food, but I want to know what the food was giving. Like, was it giving? Cause to me, it looked a little sad, but I don't know if it was giving. So, um, Teresa, you know, she said that if her brother called her, that of course she would have invited Melissa's family. And then that causes Louis to pull uh, Melissa to talk to her to kind of, you know, resolve things. But we get a jump scene of Jackie. Umpteenth time. The umpteenth time in having a moment. Okay, Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. How many scenes did you have? Good God. So for the umpteenth time, we see Jackie having a moment about the history Teresa has with Melissa's family. But then... Danielle drops in the convo how she didn't like how the girls were talking about her and her brother last night. I'm like, this is great timing, Danielle. You're taking away this moment from Jackie. And the girls, they say to her that they don't understand the situation and it's just odd. And Danielle said that she said what she said and that was the story and there's a period at the end. Done. So Danielle, she leaves and she, you know, every time Danielle leaves, she got to take her man. She said, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave with my man. I wish she left, left with her man and a plate of food because I, I still don't know what the food gave at this party. Like I saw, they said they had a little bacon, but the bacon looked a little bit overburnt. I like it a little burnt, but it was like overburnt. So I don't know. I really like they the people wasn't really eating the food either. And the entertainment of the the lady on the mermaid wasn't even giving either. So I don't know. This this party, Rachel, I think we need to see you do another party. I think we need to see you do another party. So we get a shady confessional moment and it's by Margaret saying that she should get the story from Danielle's sister-in-law and brother. And I'm like, you see, Margaret? You see, this is why the girls got to keep an eye on you. Because you like to do too much. You didn't have to say all that. You could have, you now that's going to sit on Danielle's poor, 
poor head. She can't even spell arsenal. She's going to sit on her head. And she's going to think, oh, damn. These girls going to try to contact my brother and my sister-in-law. What they going to find out? What does she already have? Mm -mm -mm. See, that's, you know, honestly, Danielle made this bigger, this situation bigger than it has to be. The girls are, be and it's because they're bored. There's not much going on. There's not much going on in this episode. I'm going to hold off to rating this episode at the end. So, Teresa, she goes over to Louie and Melissa. And Louie is trying to talk sense to Teresa and be the good guy in the situation. But he is getting mad at Teresa at the same time. And it's a little bit embarrassing, okay? Joe comes into the equation and Louie wants to invite Melissa's family. And he's trying to just get peace. He just wants peace over here at in, in in the jersey shore okay so teresa left and she goes tells the girls that melissa has daddy issues and that activates jackie and jackie is gagged jackie is so gagged and teresa shuts her down real quick teresa she loses it and calls and and and, and it caused you know jackie to be to, no she loses it because she know that jackie's gonna run and tell melissa what she said and I'm, and teresa's like this is not another thing i need so because melissa is attached to teresa's brother Teresa concludes that therefore Melissa has daddy issues and I'm like girl this is not gonna help your relationship with those people like we're this is over this is over so Melissa goes to see what's going on what's the commotion and it's now just Joe and Louis and Louis says to him that he wears his dad's pjs to make the girls feel comfortable and joe joe's facial expression is like unexplainable i want to know what he felt in that moment i need to know what he felt in that moment because what how is he supposed to respond to that okay so teresa she yells at louis to fix it okay she wants louis to just fix it and there's a triggering moment where they talk about how teresa had jen's back and didn't defend against jen calling her brother the b word pretty much the b the b boy and you know this is where i think teresa kind of sees she's wrong but when she's wrong she runs away from the situation and she leaves and this just agitates her brother even more so he gets mad and he leaves and he wants to leave and pull out his car so he goes to louis and says louis can you move the car move the car louis he's agreeable and he goes and do that so when he goes and do that you know Teresa happens to be sitting with Margaret and they're having a talk saying, you know, Margaret, if 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 Melissa had said to you to stop talking about Louie, you would have have stopped. Right. And Margaret, she's not going to cop up to it and she's not going to say that. But Teresa really blames Margaret for their family issues. And I'm like, no, girl, it's you. You're the problem. And, you know, Melissa and Joe, they leave the party and they're pulling out and you see just Louis trying to talk as much to them as possible saying, hey, we're getting married in 28 days. We can have this drama going. But we end this episode with Teresa saying, you know, my wedding is less than a month. If they want to be there, they will be there. If not, that's 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 on them. And I'm like, we already know the situation. They don't they don't show up. So. Pretty much, we see why they don't show up. And I'm like, can you blame them? Can you blame them? They're not making any ground with each other. Like, how do you recover and have a good relationship with your sister-in-law, with your brother, you know, with the brother-in-law? Like, how? How? We get to see the preview for what's coming up for The Real Housewives of New Jersey. I, I, I'm a watch, you know, this episode, I would say I would give it, I would give it a 6.97 because Danielle, I like Danielle. She gave us some moments. I like Rachel because she gave us some moments of how she can be shady. Um, what I didn't like is that the whole focus on Danielle's brother, who's not even on the show and we're making him 
as if he's on the show. And I, you know, we get the whole issue with Teresa and her brother going at it. And we're, like, over it. We really are over it. And it's just, like, a repeat now because Louis is in the picture now. So... I miss Frank from this episode. Frank and seeing how he would interact with Dolores and how uh, we oh, we didn't get to see inside of Polly's home. We usually I like to enjoy to see what's going on in his home, what he got, if we could see a new room. But even we didn't get as much from the Aidens, even though they were really discussed a lot about this episode. They didn't really much have a a scene or a moment because we had Jackie taking up all the moments of this episode so that's why i gave it a 6.97 so what do you guys think i want to know so if you like this recap please like share and subscribe i'll catch you guys next time on the next recap of the real housewives of new jersey but i can't wait don't forget this week i have what's upcoming in queen's court and also girls trip thailand so stay tuned guys and keep up with some of the recaps I have done already on the channel. So don't forget, spread as much kindness as possible and take care. Bye-bye.